biggest difference uh, from yesterday to today for you? Uh, the first three holes yesterday, I thought we were in for a long week. Uh, we were huddled under a, some sort of palm tree over on the back of the 12th green. Rain coming in. I was watching it, and it, I don't think it could get more sideways without getting physically 90 degrees, the rain. And I was two over through three, and I was like, might be heading back to the mainland on Friday. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, the weather improved, um, and I was able to sort of claw back. And then, yeah, today just probably pretty similar like maybe a fraction better and then obviously finished really nicely there with an eagle on 17 and birdie on 18 and all of a sudden it looks like a round that was probably a lot better than it was just talk me through your, your transition over here on the pga tour and you've had played success you won what, what made you kind of come over for the, the finals last year uh i've always wanted to play on the pga tour so i mean the opportunity to go to finals was was perfect um you know, essentially you play well at one event and that's a PGA Tour card locked up so yeah it was uh, obviously a great opportunity and we were fortunate to sort of take advantage of that um, straight away and and get a, a schedule out or somewhat of a schedule out here it's been you know it looks like it's pretty tough through the fall series to even get some starts um, out of our category but that's it, kind of the way it is I think for the for your first year out here as a rookie you've just kind of got to take what you get so um, you know weeks like this where we do get a start we've got to take advantage of it and um you know, I sort of look forward to playing a lot of the venues through the year as well. You sort of watch them on TV so much as a kid. Like, be cool to sort of stand in some of those spots, um, actually hitting the shots rather than watching it on TV. With what you just said, does that, do you feel a little more pressure in the fall when, when you get the start to just, just play and, and you see how, how, how things go? Yes and no. I mean, there's just pressure all season. It doesn't really, like, the more you think about it, it's like, yeah, there's a lot of pressure on right now to obviously re-rank nicely, but then the pressure's still on after that. And then if you don't re-rank well, the pressure's still on to play well. So it's just like, it's pressure all season. So you kind of just got to, you know, accept that that's the nature of the beast and it's what goes with our, our line of work. And, um, you know, it is what it is. We get rewarded for it quite nicely from a financial point of view and from tournament perks point of views. And, you know, we get to come to Bermuda for a week and, and hang out here, like, you know, a little bit of stress and pressure. I think we can deal with that. Are you going to play primarily the PGA Tour or are you going to play back in Europe? Uh, I want to try and play a bit of a combination. I mean, Europe have been great to me. Uh, I played out there as an affiliate member in 2018, and, um, you know, everyone's welcomed me really well out there, and um, I made a lot of good friends out there as well. I enjoy playing a few of the courses out there. So where, um, where the schedule permits, I want to try and play some, some of the bigger events back there for sure. Um, it's going to be tricky, I think, this year. As, as I said, being a rookie, you know, you're probably going to be on the edge of whether you can play, you know, whether you're going to get into some of the events over here or not. So sort of just have to, you know, um, take it week by week in a, in a way and just see what we can play. But I definitely, and I, and I mean, even the PJ Tour of Australia, I want to keep supporting um, Australian golf back home too, where I can. So, um, you know, the world's opening up a little bit more now. People are, obviously everyone's getting vaccinated and, you know, countries are uh, making it a little bit easier to travel. So it's making it possible to play a bit more of a worldwide schedule, I think, too. And lastly, just uh, where you feel your game is heading into the weekend here in a great spot? Yeah, I mean... I really struggled in Napa and Jackson um, and I got my coach out for the last two weeks and um, I want to say we made big changes but they were probably just getting it back to what it should have been so that's starting to feel a bit more normal and natural now and I've obviously hit 36 holes worth of shots where I can sort of trust it and um, and feel like you know I've got some some results to look back on to feel like I can trust the golf swing that I'm trying to make and you know, it's, it's been a, a good test out in the wind as well. If it was going to break down and, and um, show up that it wasn't ready, it, it would have done it. But it's it's um, held up quite nicely. I've hit a lot of nice shots through the wind. And, yeah, it's sitting here at three back on in the weekend. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Cool. Thanks, mate. Yeah, appreciate Thank you. it. Best luck for us week. Have a good afternoon, guys.